Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the Lob City finisher finishing bat. So let's just jump right into it. The description reads Improves a player's ability to successfully finish an alley oop, layup, or dunk. The shot must be taken before the receiver lands. Okay, so in past 2Ks, this has been like a this has been a staple badge in the game since badges have been in the game. That's one. Uh, secondly, this has been like one of those badges where you just throw it on bronze and forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you are a pure slasher with 30 finishing badges, you know, usually we would just throw this on bronze or whatever like that and call it a day. It would just help you with finishing the alley-oops, you know. Uh, if you didn't have this badge in previous 2Ks, you would get that animation where you catch the ball and you dunk it, but the ball rattles out and it misses or whatever. And it seemed to be that just throwing this badge on bronze would just be enough to make you finish it. In the earlier games as well, uh, having this badge on bronze meant that you could actually finish it with a dunk. I know in previous 2Ks, uh, if you didn't have this badge on at least bronze, you wouldn't even dunk the ball. You would just catch it and alley-oop it. Um, but I think they changed that because it was just it was, it was just kind of dumb that you could have a 95 driving dunk or a 90 driving dunk, but you couldn't catch an alley oop unless you had this on at least bronze. It was kind of dumb. So I think they reconfigured it or reworked the badge or whatever or the alley oops and stuff like that. And even now in this game, you don't really need lob city finisher. But if you want to catch lobs and dunks on people in traffic with two three people near you or like uh two bigs with Hall of Fame Intimidator near you. You're going to want to throw this badge on bronze. Um, me personally, uh, I haven't rocked this badge above bronze because I feel like bronze has to suffice like, uh, for everything I need. You know what I mean? As far as my bigs, as far as my wings and stuff like that, and even like uh, my guards with some finishing and stuff. Just throwing this badge on bronze with like a 65 to 70 driving dunk. I complete most of my alley-oops and stuff like that, especially on my glass cleaner off the pick and roll and stuff like that. Uh, my guard throws me oops all the time uh, in rec and pro-am. So I just feel like this is one of those badges where you can, you know, safely leave this on bronze and not rise it any higher. Um, if you get 30 finishing and you feel like you don't have anything else that you want to put this on, then I guess you could rise it up to Hall of Fame or gold or whatever like that. But me personally, uh, I would not recommend that. I My personal recommendation is that you guys leave this badge on bronze. That's it. Bronze is definitely suffice for what you need for catching oops and stuff like that. Even with the pure slasher, even more so with the pure slasher with higher uh, finishing attributes and stuff like that. All you need is bronze, man. It's been your boy Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K22 content and badge breakdown videos. I'm out. Peace.